Yes, yes, he has That's always he said. Told you. Huh? He has always said that he wants to fight Devin Haney. That is correct. He, but he was supposed to fight Devin Haney next and not Cambosos. Well, not not in the mandate. The the reality is that uh, the the kid uh, Teofimo has always said that he wants to fight Devin Haney. That is correct. Mm -hmm. I told everybody, you fucking scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> Dímelo mi gente, que lo que, you already know this is Punch Run Boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Moonshot himself. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say it like this, 100% Teofimo Lopez smokes them all. Everybody in 140 smokes them all. If you're moving up from 135 pound division, if you ain't ready, he'll smoke your ass up too. In 147, outside of Bud Crawford, because I believe that's, you know, Bud Crawford will be the favorite to beat Teofimo Lopez, but I'll be rooting for, for Teofimo Lopez to dare to be great. Other than Bud, smokes them all in a 147-pound division. I'm going to tell you like that. Tiafim Lopez at 100%. They don't want to fight Tiafim Lopez. Devin Haney don't want to fight Tiafim Lopez at 100%. Yeah, that's why he petitioned to, he sent a request to fight Arnold Barbosa if Tiafim Lopez is going to drop his belt because of the retirement. Tiafim Lopez said, hell no, man, I'm back, man. You, you want to go through, you want to you wanna get this belt? You got to go through me. What did he do? What did Devin Haney do? Go to the, the WBC Mauricio Sudamon and petition and request it to fight Regis Progress because Tiafim Lopez is at 100%. Subrema Matias, okay, Subrema Matias gonna be like, hey, yo, my hand hurt, but you know what? Subrema Matias fought with his hand hurt before that fight, right? Before, be, in his last fight, he fought with, a man, with his hand hurt, but with Tiafim Lopez, he know he can't do that. And even in 100% right now, he ain't ready for Tiafim Lopez. Ryan Garcia, I had Henry Garcia, shout out to Henry Garcia. Remember, I had an interview with Ryan Garcia's dad. He said that we offered Tiafim Lopez a deal right after the George Camboso fight. Did you offer him a deal right after the Josh Taylor fight? Mm -mm, because he's at 100%. Jose Ramirez ducked him. It could have been Jose Ramirez. It could have been Subre Matias in February 8th outside of Jermaine Ortiz. Shout out to Jermaine Ortiz, bro. At least he got the heart. Shout out to Jermaine Ortiz. He got the heart. Maybe because he got Dominican and Puerto Rican in him and stuff like that. The combination of Dominican and Puerto Rican is the reason why I probably got the heart of face here from Lopez right now. So shout out to Jermaine Ortiz. All your favorite fighters, even, hey, yo, see from Lopez called, see from uh, um, Javante Tane Davis, a.k.a. Abdul Wahid Apunani. Javante Tane Davis haven't said nothing. He'll smoke his ass too. <laughs> we all know he will never go and challenge himself. Tank would never challenge himself. He wouldn't even come close to challenging himself. Probably his next fight is going to be Frank Martin or, or Rayo or even uh, Omaris. I don't want to hear nobody. Look, I don't give a damn if your favorite channel is in the pockets of Bill Haney. I don't give a damn if your favorite channel, the high traffic channels, is popping Bill Haney's ass pimples. If you want to support that ass, the, the ass pimple poppers, if you want to if you want to support the Bill Haney's ass pimple poppers, go ahead and subscribe to them, be a member to them, and do whatever you want to do. As a matter of fact, join them and, and, and pop the ass pimple of Bill Haney because Bill Haney ain't going to hustle no punch wrong boxing. I'm going to tell you like this. He ain't going to hustle this channel. He ain't going to hustle this guy. He ain't going to hustle this guy from New York City, he ain't gonna hustle este Latino, mi hermano, no este Latino, no. He could go to the other Latinos and go to the other Arabs and go to the other black dudes and hustle his way over there so y'all can spin his narratives. You know why? Because all, oh, most of these guys in the YTBC, you are Bill Haney's hoe. <laughs> ustedes son, ustedes son putas, son la puta, esos canales que están que, that, that spinning the narratives for Bill Haney, son ellos, eh, he got him in the pocket. Ustedes son Un ho, ustedes son hoes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And if you don't like what I'm saying, come over here to punch your unboxing. I'll smoke your ass too, like Tia from Lopez. We'll smoke the other fighters as well. Bring them all over here to punch your unboxing. Name your favorite channel so I can smoke his ass too. Huh? Any fan base? You a tank fan base? If you a channel that's, that, 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh, tank is this and tank is that. I, I like tank skills. But he ain't challenging himself. Huh? Bring that crackhead South Pole over here so I could so I could beat him at, beat his ass up into soberness. You know that, you know that Javante Tan Davis is gonna fight. Man, man, I'm gonna smack your crack ass up and turn into soberness right now. Huh? I'll smack you so hard you thought you was in a rehab clinic. <laughs> Who else? Bring them all over here, man. I'll smack their ass up. Pause. Huh? 
Tia Fima Lopez. Oh, why? Oh, yo, why punch? Why you talk so good about Tia Fima Lopez? Because like I said, I created this channel to preserve the sport of boxing, to preserve the modern day warriors, the modern day gladiators, the one that put their life on the life for a pure entertainment. I respect all fighters, but let me tell you like this. I'm going to preserve the guy that's really trying to keep the sport, the sport of boxing alive. I ain't trying to talk about the business of boxing alive. I'm talking about the sport of boxing alive. And Tia Fima Lopez is day one, the commander in chief, the captain of the generation has represented what a leader is, has represented what Legacy Reign Supreme is, has represented that he's trying to keep the sport alive. And as a fan, that's the primary stuff that the fans only care about, the sport. Oh, I understand some of y'all may be uh, uh, the A side. I don't give a damn about your A side, B side, Z side. I don't give a damn about, I don't give a damn about your damn alphabets. <laughs> you know? T from Lopez has been proven since the amateurs. T from Lopez is the USA Olympian champ, uh, the, um, won the Lu USA Olympian, Olympics, Honduras Olympian, the one that set the tone of this generation and beating, uh, beating Vasily Lomachenko, the guy that was, that was, that was regarded pound for pound, one, two, three, you could flip it around, Javante Tan Davis couldn't do the, do, couldn't do the work, so Tio did the dirty work. He set the tone. He makes Devin Haney feel comfortable in which he could, you know, challenge himself. Devin Haney never wanted Tia from Lopez. Never wanted, never request for it, never sent him a deal. Ask Devin Haney, did you ever send a term sheet? Ask Devin Haney, did you ever send, send a proposal? Ask Devin Haney or Eddie Hearn, has you ever sent anything, anything, a petition, a request to any sanctioning body for them to face Tia from Lopez? Especially now when they're 100%. Every time that Tia from Lopez is available, where's Devin Haney? Talking about he got more followers, talking about he got more money. He ain't do that shit with George Cambosa. What is it? With George Cambosa, he could go out there in Australia. With George Cambosa, he could take a pay cut. With George Cambosa, he could go to the meeting with Bob. But when it comes to Devin Haney, he ain't show up to the meeting with, meeting with Bob. When it comes to Devin Haney, he's talking about money. He wouldn't even take $1 less to fight Team from Lopez, the champion. But he'll take a pay cut to fight George Cambosa. Y'all don't hold them accountable. Come on, y'all. Everybody don't want no tear from Lopez at 100% because he's the best and everybody knows it. They know it, their trainers know it, and their team knows it. You don't want that work because you'll smoke your ass up too. You guys were going to be watching, praying that tear from Lopez shows up not ready. Because if he looks good, you still ain't going to want him. I got more followers than you. I have more followers than you. What are you talking about? Oh my, look what you I got more followers than you. I have more followers than you. What are you talking about? Look how happened. much money I make. More than you. No, you look how much money I make. More than you. No, you look how much money I make. More than you. No, you